All right. Uh, today I'm going to do a song called Christmas Time is Here from the Charlie Brown movie. I'm doing this with a lot of my students for the Christmas season. And I also think it's a really great beginner, intermediate jazz song um, to learn some some basic chords in, in your 2-5-1s. It's got a lot of cool things and it's got a nice melody. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, let's start with learning the melody. I think this is usually pretty easy for students. E, E, C, C, A, A, E, C, C, A, A. That obviously happens twice in a row. E, C, C, A, A. Um, just like we always learn melodies, get, get so that you can play that perfectly. Play it five, six, seven, or more times. E, C, C, A, A until you have it absolutely perfect. Um, the next half of the A section starts on the same note that you just ended on. So you just ended on an A. There's your A note. Now we're going to do the second half. So it's A, F, F, E, G, E, E, E flat, D, F, D, F, E. A, F, F, E, G, E, E. That might be a good way to break it up. Um, I, I really like breaking up things in small sections and getting them perfectly. There's a little pattern here, like a skip. F and A and G and E. A, F, F, E, G, E, E. So get that really well and then put all that together. And then the second part, the start of the second part. E, G, E, E. So the next part is going to start on the first black note of the song, E flat. E flat, D, F, D, F, G. Um, just so this little end part of the A section, let's take this as its own little chunk. E flat, D, F, D, F, E. E flat, D, F, D, F, G. Da, 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 da. Now I'm going to take the second and third chunks and put them together. So A, F, F, E, G, E, E, E flat, D, F, D, F, G. And uh, uh, you can do that multiple times if you want to. Try to doing just that second part of the A section three or four times. Let's put the whole thing together. And in the song, this melody repeats. So that was one A section. This is the second A section. It's exactly the same. A, F, F, E, G, E, E, E flat, D, F, D, F, G. Okay, um, let's approach this in this way. So we have the A section down. We didn't get to the bridge yet, but let's do the bridge, the chords now for the A section. And I'm going to give you today just some basic seventh chords, and we might learn how to make it a little bit more fancy today. But for now, it, we're just going to play F major 7, F, A, C, E, to E flat dominant 7, E flat, G, B flat, D flat. This is probably one of the harder chords in the song, E, e flat, G, B flat, D flat. Um, black, black, white, black, black. I like to think of things in that kind of pattern. Black, white, black, black. So that cycle happens twice. F to E flat 7. So let's see how that goes with the beginning of the melody. So it's together, right, right? Together. So there's a chord on the first note of the phrase, the E, in the last note of the phrase, the A, and then that repeats. So just F major 7 to E flat 7. So let's 
let's get the second half here. What we're gonna do is play some play some shell voicings. Um, shell voicings are a little lower range, so they're not not towards the middle. Um, they're also can be called skeletons. It's the one and seven of each chord. So for the first chord, we're gonna play. It's a B minor seven flat five. We're gonna play B and A. So we're just playing the outside of the chord. That's why it's called shell chords. And we're just going on down in half steps. So we're doing like a B, B flat A, A flat G. And then for this for the C, I'm just playing one bass note on the left hand. And for the F2, I'm just playing one, one bass note. So it's B and A. B flat and A flat. That's a really quick passing kind of chromatic thing. And then A and G. A bottom note, G top note. A flat and G flat. Again, the black note ones are passing quick notes. Um, and then G and F. That's the last shell voicing. And then you're just going to play a bass note in the left hand C, F. So watch how these go with the melody. So it's together, right, right, left, together, right, right. And then that A flat one is actually together. It goes with that E flat melody note. And on the G, it's together, right, right. So for the C and F, on the C, I'm, we're going to turn that into a B flat triad in the right hand. with a C in the bass. So B flat triad with a C in the bass. B flat D F A. And then for the F major seven here at the end, we're gonna pl play in the right hand A, C, E, G with an F in the bass. So these are just the last two notes of the melody. G, F, G. Last two notes of the A section. So I'll play the whole thing one more time. you can piece together with that and let's move on to the bridge let's do the melody to the bridge so that part is rhythmically similar to the beginning um has some different notes c a flat c a flat a flat c c that's the cycle and it repeats twice c a flat a flat c c repeats c a flat a flat c c and then it goes to the last half of the bridge. So when you have that really well. When you have that really well, move on to the next part. C, A, A, C, C, A, A, B flat, B flat, G, G, A, A. That's kind of tricky. C, A, A, C, C, A, A. So that's the first part of the last half of the bridge. And then the last part, last part of the last part of the bridge is B flat, B flat, G, G, A, A. So C, A, A, C, C, A, A, B flat, B flat, G, G, A, A. So the whole bridge melody. And then C, A, A. Okay, let's now go over the chords for the bridge. You know, actually, uh, let's not even play any inversions for this part because we're actually just gonna play straight chords here. D flat major seven, another kind of tricky chord. D flat, F, A flat, C. And again, I think of the pattern. Black, white, black, white, one, three, five, seven. In the lap. The second note of chord of the bridge is G, G flat major seven. 
So we'll go G flat seven. So G flat, B flat, D flat, and E. G flat, B flat, D flat, E. Um, and the reason I'm not having any inversions on this section is because we're gonna we're gonna stride it. We're gonna play a bass note and then the chord. So the left hand's gonna cover the bass and the chord. So left the bass note. No four, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's the rhythm of it. Bass note on the one beat, chord on the two beat. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, let's move on to the next part of the bridge. And we're just gonna do two two fives. The first one is a 2-5 of G. If you know your 2-5-1s, the 2-5 of G is A minor 7 to D7. And we're going to play it like this. A, C, E, G is your A minor 7. And the D7 is A, C, D, F sharp. These are three beats each. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the second 2-5 is a 2-5 of the key of F. So it's G minor 7, G, B flat, D, F to C7, G, B flat, C, E. Um, you might want to just jam on this. This is a nice, what, what's called a 3, 6, 2, 5. That's A minor 7 to D7, G minor 7 to C7. Just get good, get, get really good at that. 3, 6, 2, 5, and then it finally does go to the 1 when it goes back to the main melody. Okay, so um, the last half of the bridge with the melody. So it's three, six, and then two, five, and then finally to the one. Um, another nice thing to do here, again, would be to stride it. So you're going to play a lower bass note, and then stride up an octave to that A minor 7 chord. Lower bass note, stride up to the D7. G with a G minor 7, and then C, and stride up to the C7 chord. And the striding is optional, it depends kind of how, how far along you are in the piano and if, if that kind of thing um, you're able to handle. And then you go back to the beginning of the song. Again, striding on this part as well. Bass note chord. Bass note chord. Then back to the shell voicings. That's the, that's the whole tune. Um, make sure you have that waltz feel. One, 